My name is Jaden Martin. I am 18 years old and I am a child of God. It was an experience that I never expected to happen anytime soon. When I was about, let's say, 14, I used to think to myself, oh yeah, I'll get baptised later. I used to see people get baptised every year, every Easter, and I'd be like, yeah, that's nice, but not now. And every year it used to be the same thing, and then when it actually came to that point where it's actually me getting baptised, because I never expected that to happen, and it was in such a short space of time that I made that decision to do so. So I think, yeah, it's been... It's been, it's been, it's been fun. Yeah. It's been hard, it's going to be hard, and I can't imagine that it's any different for anybody else that's in my shoes as well. Um, balancing my Christian life and my exam life, it's been extremely difficult, and I have to keep on retracting back to God because that's the reason why I'm here, that's the reason why I can get through this, that's the reason why I do well because I put my faith in him and every single time I do an exam, doesn't matter whether it's a mock, I pray and that's what I believe gets me through. So anyone that's the same as me, you need to continue to pray because that's the only thing that's gonna get you through a difficult time balancing the two out. Um, I still enjoy myself, I just know my limits. I know what I should and shouldn't be doing. And sometimes it is difficult to know the voice that's the wrong voice and know the voice that's the right voice. But you, as I said before, you have to take it back and think, okay, what's of God, what's not of God? And then try and figure yourself out and go down the right path in doing so. I've been a Christian my whole life. So even when I was younger, it was the experiences around me and how I've seen God work in situations that you turn around and you think, hold on a minute, <laughs> how on earth did that happen? How did that become the result? So I feel like from young, my parents installing it in me and me just knowing, okay, God does this, God does that. I must have faith and believe that he is there no matter what. And those experiences, I think that's what helps me believe. Even though I can't see him, I've heard him and that's kind of leads on to my testimony. But um, yeah, I just feel like because of where my parents stand and the family, that's helped me know that you have to have faith in order to believe and see that he's there. Well. I've always been taught sin is sin. It doesn't matter whether you've killed someone, whether you've lied to your mother. It doesn't matter, sin is sin. So there's no differentiation. So I can never say, oh, your sin's a bit worse than mine, or it's sin. Um, and I think sin is defined as anything that's not of God. So if it's wrong, if you know it's wrong within your heart, especially because you've got that key that's grown, or not, I should say seed actually, that's installed in you at a young age for me anyway, and then it blossoms because that's been installed in me, I already know what's right and what's wrong. What I choose to do with that is completely different and the consequences to that will be completely different, but you just know that it's not of God and that's what sin is. The best advice I've ever been given. I just think it's and continue to pray and have faith. It doesn't matter what situation you're in, to have faith. And if you can't see it, God can see it and he knows it all. So don't worry about it and still have faith. Hold on to that faith and continue to pray. Pretty much just repenting. So everything that you know is wrong, anything that you know that you need the Lord to be by your side to help you or situations that have already passed that you need help in um, you just need help with in order to better yourself as a person in your Christian walk. <clears throat> I feel that just coming forward and not being afraid to come clean or like tell the truth about everything that you've done, no matter how embarrassing it is or like the things that you proper installed in yourself that you would never come to somebody and say, you don't have to say it to anyone, you can say it to God because he knows. And I think, one thing that I would say is just come clean and not to be afraid.